Let's take a closer look at the residence of enterprises. An enterprise is resident in an economic territory when it engages in a significant amount of production of goods or services from a location in that territory. Such production should take place or be planned to take place in the territory over a period of a year or more. All enterprises must be resident somewhere. For certain types of entities, we base the residence on the economic territory under whose laws the entity is incorporated or registered. Other connections such as ownership, location of assets, or location of managers or administration may be less clear-cut. Incorporation and registration represent a substantial degree of connection to the economy associated with the jurisdiction over the enterprise's existence and operations. To illustrate, let's examine two types of enterprises, corporations with little or no physical presence and enterprises with a location that is used as a base to deliver services in other locations. Examples of corporations with little or no physical presence are typically in the banking and insurance industry. This includes investment funds as distinct from their managers, securitization vehicles, and special purpose entities or SPEs. There is little or no physical presence because the corporation contracts its administration to other entities. In the case of manufacturing companies, all the physical processes may have been outsourced to other units. A single corporation might be registered in several jurisdictions, for example, relating to incorporation, income tax, value-added tax, and particular regulations. A jurisdiction may have been agreed on for settling disputes involving the enterprise. In such cases, the criterion for determining residence is the jurisdiction of the laws that govern the creation and continued existence of the entity. If there is no incorporation or registration, legal domicile is used to determine residence. The incorporation and registration represents a substantial degree of connection to the economy associated with jurisdiction over the enterprise's existence and operations. In some cases, an enterprise has a location that is used as a base to deliver services to other locations. For example, this may be used for transport and also for delivery of services such as on-site repairs, short-term construction, and many types of business services. In such cases, we determine the residence of the enterprise from its base of operations. That is, unless the activities at the point of delivery are sufficiently substantial to amount to a branch. Take, for example, the residence of an institutional unit that operates ships on the high seas and various territorial waters. Its residence is not necessarily the same as the location where the ships spend the most time or the territory of registration of the ships. The residence of the shipping company is the economic territory under whose laws the entity is incorporated or registered. In summary, the incorporation and the registration represents a substantial degree of connection to the economy associated with the jurisdiction over the enterprise's existence and operations. In contrast, other connections such as ownership location of assets or location of managers or administration may be less clear-cut.